This is Harry's fourth big screen adventure, and this time around, he's not only competing in a dangerous wizarding tournament, but also has to cope with something far more stressful. He's a hero who's absolute. He's he's no good with girls. He's no good with dating. He doesn't know how to be around girls. He doesn't, which is great because he's a character for anyone out there who's ever been awkward with a girl in this film. Fans have been waiting for months to see scenes like the Yule Ball, where Harry has to dance in front of the whole school. The, the Yule Ball sequence should be good fun. Um, she, uh, she kind of has a boyfriend in this one, which is, for Ron and Harry, is a bit of a shock, really. Especially for Ron, who, um, who you know, he's only just realised that she's a girl. So Harry is truly interested in. Excuse me? He's using you. It's getting inside information. Maybe he'll jinx Harry. Ron's changed a bit. Like, just he's a bit more mature now. He's he's got older. Um, as they, they do in all the books, they get a bit older. Um, but yeah, this one's a lot about sort of like um, he's got a bit more comfortable around girls and that because there's the Yule Ball and we have to like, get a date and that. Besides, the whole point of the tournament is international magical cooperation to make friends. I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. Fans will have to wait a little longer to get their first proper look at characters like Harry's future girlfriend Cho Chang and dark arts teacher Mad Eye Moody. The finished film will be full of special effects like this underwater sequence. They're scattering. And they're scattering now, puzzlement. Sharp! And a scene when Harry battles a dragon on his broomstick. A proper trailer for the film is expected in the next few weeks, and the movie's due to hit cinemas in November.